Hey everyone, Laura here. I realize it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video. Um, in fact, I think it's been like six months. And so I wanted to check in and give an update and tell you why I've been kind of MIA the last six months. And I just kind of want to highlight my pill bag. It's a little crazy and insane. Um, but today I want to talk about hormonal therapy because <sighs> where do we even begin? Our bodies have been through so much with the cancer diagnosis. So let's see. After chemotherapy, surgery, radiation, more chemotherapy, I am now on like a 10 year plan on hormonal therapies. And you know, this is really interesting because when I first got diagnosed with cancer, you kind of have your checkbox of, okay, I have 12 rounds of Taxol. Go to the calendar, mark them off, the countdown begins. And same with radiation, right? I had 33 rounds of radiation. You get your little calendar, you're like, all right, one done, two done, finally you're in your last week. But honestly, when my doctor told me I'm gonna be on some of these medicines for up to 10 years, um, yeah, I didn't really know, like there's no calendar big enough for that, right? Like I didn't know what to do. And in the scheme of hormonal therapies, um, this is particularly for uh, breast cancer thrivers who are estrogen um, positive, ER positive. And the goal of it is really because your cancer is thriving in this um, estrogen environment, we want to reduce the amount of estrogen in our bodies. So that way the cancer will have no environment to grow and therefore hopefully not come back, right? Okay, so... Within the classification of hormonal therapies, my understanding is that there are two branches. There is tamoxifen, which is quite popular, and um, I know a lot of women who are on it. And then there's this other group of aromatase inhibitors, also known as AIs or aromatase inhibitors. In my research, the classifications have really fallen down to are you premenopausal or postmenopausal? Um, but I feel like I'm a classic case because at the time, I like I'm only. When I was diagnosed at 34, I'm 36 now, I was nowhere close to menopause. And for some reason, my doctors and I came to um, an understanding that it would be better for me, given the types of cancer that I had, to be on the aromatase inhibitors plus a Lupron shot. And the Lupron shot actually suppresses um, my ovaries. So these two things were, were what we decided. Now within the whole circle of aromatase inhibitors, there are three different drugs that I'm aware of. There is um, letrozole, which is what I'm currently on, but I didn't get to that letrozole in the first try. I was exposed originally to anestrozole, and then that kind of left me with some wonky side effects, and I was like, you know what, I cannot deal with this for 10 years. Is there something else we can do? And that's when they gave me another AI pill called Eximestine. And again, I used that for a couple of months trying to figure out like the bone aches and pains and, you know, just kind of like mood swings because your body is like thrown into this like craziness. And I was like, you know, again, quality of life here, this isn't going to work for me. So what we ended up finding was a combination of um, supplements and the Lipron shot that I get um, every couple of weeks plus letrozole. And so far, it's been about six months that I've been on letrozole, and I have to say I'm feeling pretty normal, which everyone's body responds to these medicines so differently. I know women who have started off with letrozole, and they're like, oh my god, the hot flashes, I can't take it, give me something else, and they're doing great on eczemestine or anestrozole or tamoxifen. So it's really this like trial and error period of like tweaking the... Um, the amounts of the drugs that you're on, how you're feeling, how your body's responding. And I have to say it took me about a six, a solid six months for it to finally get into my system and for me to feel like I have control over the meds and not the meds controlling me. So that's a little bit about I, I wanted to share with regards to hormonal therapies. Um, please subscribe below to my YouTube channel and our podcast. And I'll put all these links in the bottom. Join our thriving community at survivingbreastcancer.org. Thanks for listening.